Hey Leo, this will happen in the next 48 hours for July the 14th through July the 15th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Leo for July the 14th through July the 15th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Leo for July the 14th through July the 15th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Leo for July the 14th through July the 15th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Leo... Leo, these are your cards, honey. So, Leo, you have the Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. So, Leo, listen, could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Cups, using your intuition concerning something or searching your emotions concerning something. Also with the Queen of Cups, this is a mothering, nurturing energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Leo. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Leo. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Leo. It is clarified with the Six of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your attention or you're beginning to recognize something or you're getting attention and recognition. So listen, Leo, they could be getting your attention. You could be getting their attention. You can tell me that something is being brought to your attention. You're beginning to recognize something here. Or this is an announcement being made. Now listen, you can tell me that something is being brought to your attention. You're beginning to recognize something here. And you're using your intuition or searching your emotions concerning what you need to do here. Could also be that, you know, they're getting your attention or you're wanting to get their attention because you find that there's a great deal of love here. Okay, something could be being brought to your attention concerning a water sign. We'll see. Leo, you have the seven of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options, but all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions, but having many options. So, Leo, listen, you can tell me that you're all up in your head fantasizing here. You can tell me that there is some confusion. You can tell me that you need to make a choice. You can tell me that there was lies and illusions or the fact that someone had other options and explore some of those other options. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Leo. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Leo. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Leo. It is clarified with judgment. Now, judgment could be you passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So, Leo, listen, you could be passing your own final verdict and judgment here. Someone could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance. Or you're dealing with something illegal. Clarify judgment. For Leo, clarify judgment. For Leo, clarify judgment. For Leo, Leo, you're at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but the universe is cautioning you to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. 
that any decision that you make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. Now, when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. So, Leo, listen, could be dealing with a Sag, but you can tell me that, hey, you know, I just need to heal individually on my own. You can tell me that you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out and reconcile. Very well could be some type of compromise or negotiations going on here. Also a need for you to be patient. Clarified temperance for Leo. Clarified temperance for Leo. Clarified temperance for Leo. It is clarified with the two of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. Now, this could be juggling two ideas. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? This can be you managing many things at once, weighing up the pros and the cons, or juggling two relationships. So listen, Leo, you can tell me that you're weighing things up, trying to decide, should you, shouldn't you? Or you're telling me that juggling has taken place here. Now listen, Leo, you could be weighing things up, trying to decide, should I, shouldn't I? You can tell me that you need to make a choice. You can tell me that you need to make a judgment or a decision on whether or not to heal things, mend things, work things out, forgive and give a second chance here. You could also tell me that, hey, you know, your judgment is to heal individually on your own because there was some type of juggling. Someone had other options and explored some of those other options. That was what was being brought to your attention here, okay? Or someone's trying to get the other's attention to ask for forgiveness and a second chance and reunite here. Leo, you have the nine of wands. Aries, Leo or Sag, this is you being guarded and standing your ground. You have a stance. You meant what you said. You said what you meant. You're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, eye to eye, or anything. But this is also a card of you saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of you having your walls up, your guards up. You're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid here. So Leo, listen, you can tell me that you're highly suspicious. You have your guard up, you don't trust. You can tell me that you're guarding something. You can tell me that you're going to be persistent or you're standing your ground. Clarify the nine of wands for Leo. Clarify the nine of wands for Leo. Clarify the nine of wands. For Leo, it is clarified with the tower. The tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that you don't see coming. Something that catches you completely off guard. Something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock in our moment. A moment of revelation. Now this can be a shocking shakeup or a breakup. So Leo, listen, very well could be a shocking surprise. Shocking revelation, something being revealed. Or a breakup. Clarify the tower for Leo. Clarify the tower. Oh, cards are flying. Clarify the tower for Leo. Clarify the tower for Leo. Clarify the tower. Leo. It is clarified with the Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is financial success and abundance. This is where two people come together in a long-standing committed relationship, joining together their assets and resources to build something to pass down from generation to generation, creating a legacy. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, assets, resources, property, inheritance, legacy. So Leo, listen, this can be about your money, assets, resources, abundance. Yes. You know, someone very well may have commitment on the brain here, but in tarot tens are ending. So it could be an ending to you guys as commitment, marriage, living together situation or family dynamics. Now, Leo, listen, you could be shocked and caught off guard because someone is making an announcement here about commitment. Yes. And maybe you're a little hesitant here. You have your guard up. You didn't see this coming and you're needing to make a judgment or decision. You could also tell me that, you know, 
something was brought to your attention here, okay? There's been some type of shocking revelation. And you guys, this commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics may be coming to an end here. You have your guard all the way up because you could have found that they were juggling with other options here. Leo, you have the sun. This is you, Leo. But the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development and freedom. So Leo, this is you. Clarify the sun for Leo. Clarify the sun for Leo. What about Leo? What about Leo? Clarify the sun for Leo. It is clarified with the four of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you holding back, holding off, keeping something close to your chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher, someone who's holding back their coins, saving their money, being stingy, someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So, Leo, listen, you can tell me that you're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. You can tell me that you're holding on to your coin, saving your money, being stingy, or you're keeping something close to your chest here. So Leo, listen, you can tell me that maybe something was illuminated, something came to light concerning your coins, your finances here, and now you're having to hold on to your money and penny pinch. Leo, you can tell me that something was illuminated, something came to light to cause you to be closed off to this person and things may be ending here. Leo, you have the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. But it's on the slowest moving night in the deck. So having anything solid, stable, secure, and long-lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all. So stability or commitment has been halted here. So Leo, listen, everything has come to a screeching halt. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Leo. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Leo. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Leo. It is clarified with the moon. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. So Leo, listen, could be dealing with a Pisces, but you can tell me that you're in the dark concerning something. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or there's a secret. Clarify the moon for Leo. Clarify the moon for Leo. Clarify the moon for Leo. It is clarified with the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This king is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. This could be a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. So Leo, listen, could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their charts. However, when we're dealing with the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. King of Pentacles is a nurturing father, <laughs> fathering energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with, or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Leo. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Leo. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Leo. It is clarified with the Page of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is news or a message about a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, this can be the news about the spark of a new idea. The news, a message about some type of passionate action that needs to take place. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So passionate messages or news of passion. So Leo, listen, you could be receiving passionate messages. You could be sending out passionate messages. 
Very well could be that we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion. Or this is a heated discussion or argument. Clarify the page of wands for Leo. Clarify the page of wands for Leo. Clarify the page of wands for Leo. It is clarified with the five of wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is conflict. This is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama. But this can also speak to you being conflicted within about something. So Leo, listen, you can tell me that you're conflicted within about something or some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, drama has taken place here. So Leo, listen, you can tell me that you guys had a heated discussion or argument, some type of drama here over practicality slowing down here. Because you can tell me that something is coming out or being exposed, some type of secret here about your financial stability. Very well could be exposed about these finances here, Leo. Leo, you can tell me that you guys had this conflict or drama, some type of competition is here because we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion. This is the secret that's coming out that is causing you to go stagnant with this person. You can tell me that you're making a judgment call to heal individually on your own because this person has other options. They were out juggling. This is what's being brought to your attention here and having you closed off to this person. Leo, you could also tell me that you're conflicted within here and maybe using your intuition after being stagnant with this person that could be reaching out to you with passionate messages and you're asking yourself, should you, shouldn't you forgive and give a second chance here because they're getting your attention with passionate messages. Leo, I'm going to take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you. And so, hmm, you are the best thing in my life. You are the best thing in my life. Hmm. Leo, this will happen in the next 48 hours for July the 14th through July the 15th, 2023. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.